Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve part fifth and part six of question number four. Again, you have to check whether these series are APs or not, and you have to find the common difference, and you have to write three more terms if these are AP. Uh, till we till now we know we know that what is what are APs. For that, you have to check. Whether we are adding a constant term all the times or not. For that, you can subtract these two terms to get that difference, which is known as common difference. So R D would be when we subtract this from this. So three and three can be cancelled out, and the common difference would be root two. Similarly, if I Want to find the second common difference? I have to subtract this from this. So subtracting this value and minus this value, which is three minus plus root two. Further solving it, this is three plus root two minus three minus root two. Clearly, this three, this three can be cancelled out. Plus minus. And this plus minus is minus, and we know that here it is two root two, and there is only one root two. So plus minus is minus. So when one root two is subtracted from two root two, the answer will be root two. So clearly, our common difference in both the cases are same. Means we are adding root two, root two, root two all the times a constant term. So clearly, this is a perfect example of arithmetic progression. Here there is no root two. Here it is one root two. Here it is two root two. Here it is three root two. And if you want to write the next three, the first term will be here. In, there are already three root two. So when we are adding another root two, that will become four root two. The second after that the uh, second last term will be five root two, and the third term. Would be six root two. So these would be the next three terms of this particular AP. Now we have this series. We have to check whether this form an AP or not. So clearly we have to check whether we are adding a constant term or not. For that we can subtract any two terms to find the common difference. So subtracting point two from point two two. So the answer will be. Because here there are two terms, so there are also two terms. So if you want to make here two terms after the decimals, you have to add another zero. This won't make any difference to this value. So two minus zero is two. Two minus two is zero point zero. So our first common difference is this much. If you want to find the second common difference, I have to subtract this. These two terms, so that is 0.222 minus 0.2 and 2. Again, on the right hand side of the decimal, here there are four digits. Here are only two digits, so I have to make it equal so that I can easily solve it. Now I have to subtract 2 minus 0 is 2, 2 minus 2 is 0, 2 minus 2 is 0, and 0 point. Clearly. Our common difference is not same. Here it is 0.02. Here it is 0.002, and that means we are not adding a constant term to increase this series. So clearly, this is not an example of arithmetic progression. This, uh, the same way you can solve the rest of the questions. I am not solving the further questions. And if you have any query or if you have any problem in any of the part, you can contact us in True Maths. and in the next video we will start the next exercise of this particular of the same chapter thank you